What's up, Artemers? We are here today with a very special guest I like to call my boyfriend. What's up, guys? How's it going? Oh. You need to talk. I guess we got two special guests here today. Yeah, Surprise bro. guest star. Um... We're gonna be talking about something serious today, guys. It's gonna be deadly. It's gonna be serious. And it's not gonna be sharks. Dude, there's so many serious things, though. I know. Lots of serious stuff happening in the world. And we're gonna talk about the one no one ever looks at, which is Monopoly. Not the game. Monopoly is the... Illegal thing. The illegal thing. Very illegal. So, yeah. Monopolies, they're disgusting. In a few words, I would say that it is where one company holds power to, like, pretty much that entire district of market. things. The entire market. Um, like, when you think hamburgers, you think McDonald's, and that's not a monopoly at all, because Burger King is right there beside it. There's a ton out in the world right now. For starters, Amazon, who owns the entire idea of online shopping. I would say that with free shipping and all of that and the, the deals, it's hard not to use Amazon. You know, it is my go-to place, admittedly. Yeah, we use Amazon. <laughs> When you don't have a car, it's like, what else are you going to do? And then you don't want to leave the house, and then you got, boom, boom. It all works out. But then, guess who gets all the money in the end? Bezos, man. Bezos. And he, uh, apparently, well, from the like only thing I've read, he gets 15% usually, or Amazon gets 15% usually, on like the things that they sell from other people. And uh, it's just like, damn, they're making a lot of sales. Is so high. They're making so many sales too. Like even though fifteen percent is high when you look at actual margins of business and everything, it is only fifteen percent. No, fifteen percent is hugely high. Yeah. I worked on a website called Upwork, who takes twenty percent. First of all, that's a crap ton of money. There's a lot. But second of all. 20% is 20 cents out of every dollar. So if I got a $100 uh, job, they take 20 whole mother freegian dollars, dude. So you get 80 out of $100. So I get 80 out of $100. 15% versus 20 is just 5 cents per dollar. The conversation always comes back to there either needs to be bigger government or smaller government. What we have now is pretty much, in my opinion, uh, that people in the economy own pretty much the laws. Uh, you know, Amazon does whatever they want, and then just works out for them every time, right? Yeah, I like. I keep hearing about like scandals, but then like. Thing. I'm on team Wayfair, maybe doing something super suspicious, but like, who knows? I literally can't do anything. It's just suspicious. Suspicious. You're in the suspicious corner, my friend Wayfair. Yeah, that was sus. Do you know what I want to talk about? Monthly subscription services. That's a toxin. A what? A toxin. A toxin. You got Spotify. We sound like old folks. You got Spotify. You got your Netflix. Netflix. You got your Hulu. Disney Plus. Some people out there with that YouTube Red. Amazon. Amazon. Prime. HBO. We don't have HBO. People get it though. Or stars. Or whatever. All that stuff. You got... Your video game systems? Oh my gosh, yeah. PlayStation. Xbox. Xbox. Do you want both? Wii. Wii. The Wii now, you have to pay for for nothing. You get nothing. I PlayStation tried... and Xbox gives you free games. Every month you get free games. Sometimes they're like really dope. Switch? Yeah. Uh, 
Thanks for your money, kid. <laughs> it's freaking gross is what it is. Who's, who can change that, right? Like, there's no one to change that. It's the, the way the world is growing itself. And pretty soon, we'll have, like, a fixed amount of everything we ever need being the same amount as our bloody paycheck. It's true. They only give you enough money to pay your rent and everything else you need and to be comfortable and happy for you not to save money and then succeed and then the American dream is dead and gone. I will say, unless you got a great credit, uh, credit score, you can get a loan, you can get a business loan. You have to have, like credit cards and rent and loans and other things to get a credit score and so even to attempt to uh, get the American dream with a loan you can only be accepted through good credit score which you have to be practically like an old adult to have and then it's like well you're old now so you've worked. You're old now. You've been working well, this whole time. You might as well just use your retirement money at that point. They should just call it what it is and be like, you gotta pay dues. You gotta pay dues in this country, apparently. It's dues. Until you're 35 and you fought in a war and worked at the same place for 10 years. You can go yourself, apparently. <laughs> It's the greatest country in the world to live in 35 years if you've done everything right. Okay, so I wanted to show... Oh, shoot, I didn't say your name earlier. Lauren. But I wanted to show Lauren <laughs> these cool uh, pictures I found. So, I've already seen them, but Lauren will give us his first reaction and I think it'll be a ton of fun because judging super old cartoon propaganda is hilarious. The first one, I say, is more on a positive note, which is nice, right? <laughs> so, not black power, not white power, but workers power. And then it says capitalism, socialist, industrial union. Yeah, socialist industrial union. So this is actually an anti-capitalist propaganda, which is really fun to find. Yeah. I, uh, yeah. I mean... It's so hard, dude. I just have been blown away by how many people are racist lately. <laughs> uh, but truly, though, like, I don't want to be like, yeah, man, they're like, they try to distract us, you know. But, like, it is like a distraction. You got all these, like, super expensive things, then all these, like, super cheap things, then the super cheap things are, like, super bad for you, which makes you super unhealthy, and then you never have a really good job and really good life, and, like, you're always super poor, and then everyone rich is born to the rich. It's a <clears throat> perpetuated thing forever. Classes are crazy, because we don't have, like, a caste system, right? We don't have a caste system, but... We, per se. Yeah, but we do. It's all superficial. You don't need to have a situation where no matter what you do, you're going to make the same amount of money or like, you know, I'll just respond to some things I've been told when talking about it. Like, oh, why would I work harder if I'm going to get the same thing as somebody who works harder than I do? You know, because that's not how it would work. That's not how it would work. Like, it's, it's, it's very uh, convenient that when these responses are always so stupid are you when you have about, these conversations. Uh, the amount of effort versus money? Yeah, like right now, if you don't have a job, if you didn't just get like, like laid off from a job or something, you're not going to get any money for free. Yeah, no. I've heard before 
the more lazy you are, the more you're paid, probably, basically. Like, what is Jeff Bezos doing right now? Yeah, it's... What's it, he been up it, to the it's, last It goes months? both ways. Like, if you literally don't do anything, then you're obviously homeless and don't have a job. Yeah, no, and, but I'm, I'm talking but about the guys you, who are sitting on a beach, having their money, make their money for them. Boom, boom, boom. That's, yeah. a, that's the American dream, basically. Yeah, everybody wants to work until their money can just make money. Or their idea. And they don't have to do anything. Yeah, or whatever. Not to go on, like, a super tangent, but I super hate the idea of when people sell their uh, businesses to major corporations. And then it's uh, owned by the monopoly. And then it and just then dro- it, fades away. And it just fades away. And you know it's going to get worsened by corporations and all capitalistic structure standardization major production yeah major production where you go franchising all over the place like no your little mom and pop burger best burger in town ain't gonna be that good in another town no and especially if they're not there exactly what happened to mcdonald's yeah that's exactly oh my gosh that movie is so amazing if you haven't watched the founder Go watch it right now. That's what it's called, right? I have no clue. The McDonald's founder? Movie. It sounds so religious, but that's pretty, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> okay, we got to get the next cartoon up in right, here. Let's go. America under socialism. Factory closed under state control. 1950s. Why would it be closed? Because of socialism, dude. Why would the state close the factory? Because of socialism, man. It's bad for you. They literally, like, there's no context. Let's see. <laughs> yes, please. This is nonsensical looking gun. Um, yeah, it's just trash. You can it's see. It's just gorgeous. It's like, no, it's not. It's just. <laughs> It's just like the, uh, I hate it. You hate it? It makes, there's, it's not, it's not telling me anything. Yeah, It's like no. what you said. Socialism, bad. It's just a lie. It's just a straight up lie. It's just like, just, the factory's closed because it it's owned by the state. Yeah, it's brainwashing you. That, it's just bad. Socialism's bad. Oh Socialism no. equals bad. <laughs> It's kind of stupid. We should just move on. It's that simple. It only deserves 30 seconds. Okay. Capitalism, our children's heritage. It says 1950, 1959, height of Cold War. So do you know anything about the Cold War? I was like with Russia and space and information. Right? And nobody spies. really fought. Yeah, spies. Sex. Why is capitalism... So here's what capitalism is in the 50s. It's pretty much the one-word version of the American dream, which is find a beautiful idea, make an invention, grow your own amazing business, and then sell it to the system. What this is, is you basically make enough money for your children to have a beautiful life and then they don't have to lift a finger and then you are your hero. You've lived the American dream. That is your cloud nine. But this is what my idea always is, is that what is your child going to do then? Are they going to lift a finger and do nothing and have no idea and then be the I you already know what I'm thinking. Everyone knows exactly what I'm thinking right now. American dream BS. People from the fuck from the fifties they were dumb. So an adult in the fifties would be ninety five years old and I don't think we're offending anyone. Just gonna say that. Very low margins. <laughs> Like, they didn't question anything. That's what it was. That was the big thing. Who were their parents? I want to get, just really quickly, 
When were they born? And what was happening while they were being raised? This is why I wish I'd gone into history instead of philosophy. Because, oh man. Can we fix the world real quick? It's like the dark ages and renaissance of the modern era with our generation and the previous generation. Whereas in the renaissance, they didn't know how to figure things out, like with science and math. Whereas now, they didn't know how to question anything to try to clarify or figure it out for themselves or understand what's happening around them. The world's been so small that literally until this generation, you couldn't understand what the hell was happening. Like, you were like... They were level seven susceptible. Dude. (laughs) full susceptible and so like yeah like they're like capitalism good cool i like it what they're telling me is good and i got nothing else to go on really so nice because yeah there was a war like world war ii was just getting over with when um the adults in the 50s parents were having kids and being Mm -hmm. adults when did uh World War Two happened. In the 40s. I'm pretty sure it was like 1939 to 1942. They also didn't have information easily read, uh, read readily, uh, available, readily available to them. to them as we do. So now we can question things. It makes sense to. Like uh, my mother. We talk to my mom sometimes and I'll be like, oh, the topics. And she'll be like, oh, I don't get into any of that. I don't understand it, and I can't change anything, so I'll just stress about it. I'm just better off don't think about it. And I'm like, well, then if everybody does that, we'll all literally end up in where the hell, who knows? Yeah, and then she moved to the woods. (laughs) Yeah. She's like, I'm going to literally get away from everything. Socialism, bad. Or capitalism, bad. Socialism, I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to. You should, like... I've, I've, I've talked about this before with other people. And if you make that much money, the government should be able to ask you, at the very least, and you should have some, at, at least, s- give them the money. And if you need the money, because people are always like, well, uh, Am- like, well, if we talk about Bezos, uh, Amazon's very oh, large, oh. so they have a lot of um, exactly warehouses they need to maintain. And if anything shall happen... Um, then they need to have the money to, you know, fix it back up, and if they need to expand, they need money for that, and it's like, yeah, put it in the taxes, and then whenever you need it, first of all, pretty sure you probably still have enough money to do that, and, because you're also growing money all the time, you're making more profits, yeah, you're not sustaining $162 million, you're at that growing, and, like, you still, you don't need that, and you're f***ing up the world. It doesn't work good for us to just print money. So if you keep getting it, and you keep getting it, eventually there's literally not going to be any money. That rich people should automatically, to a certain extent, become a charity for someone. For the government, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Like I, it, which wouldn't it, be terrible if it's run by this the right person. Right, there'd be an equation. Like this is what you have. This is what it costs to do it. This is what you're making profit personally on top of your company gain. Every whatever. So this is how much, whatever. And then this is just there's a, there's a number somewhere in all of these big trillionaires' accounts. Where it's just like this black hole money. Basically, like when you imagine the DuckTales and Scrooge McDuck, he's swimming in his his big vault of gold. There has to be little, you know, four corners of gold that don't get diddly squat of movement, basically. There's money that isn't touched ever at some point, right? Yeah. Exactly. There's just this lingering, growing uh, n- number because you're profiting still. Yeah. Capitalism. Oh, that was another thing I want to say. I want to touch back up on... They didn't think about 
anything. They didn't question anything. Like, how is capitalism supposed to work for everybody? How is everybody supposed to be okay with capitalism? Everybody is supposed to just grow as much money as they can to themselves? <laughs> Let me ask you this. Is capitalism in the Constitution? No, I don't think no. so. No. Capitalism no. is made to grow to have monopolies. It's made to grow to have monopolies. That's just like by the laws of, the of what I'm capitalism sorry. is. You need to have, you need to be able to have as much as you want. Yeah. Yeah. And nothing about anybody being able to have as much as they need. It's always about having more than you need. Yeah, anybody can have as much as they want. Yeah. But nobody... No, because it's all for your children. It's our children's heritage. So you gotta have more than you need. Because it's for your fucking chidge. And then they're supposed to <laughs> magically just make that into more for when they have kids? Or is it every other generation kind of situation <laughs> here? Like, you work your ass off, make a lot of money, and then your kids don't do anything, but then their kids have to work, and then their kids don't? It don't what work. What are we doing here? It don't work. It don't work. Nobody thought about that. Nobody thought about that. Also, working class people were supposed to be able to support themselves, but people started taking too much profits from their gains... And not paying people enough. And making everything super expensive. Yeah, those two things didn't match up in the end. That's another reason why everything is in the frickin' butthole. <laughs> okay. A pyramid scheme of capitalistic system. Wait, I think I said that all wrong. Pyramid of capitalist system. <clears throat> on top, money. You want to see it? Yeah, I, can, I have You don't it. remember it? No, I don't remember it. The money bag's on top. That speaks uh, miles there. If you just think about how easy every, like... <laughs> Be Bezos alone could literally just fix everything. Who is Jeff Bezos on this chart? Uh, See money back? Given, well, I mean, if, if a person can be money, I'd imagine Bezos is a money bag, and then Elon is coming up. But why? That's such an upsetting topic. I'm not having a bad time. <laughs> uh, because it's just like, uh, you see what things cost, and just think about how what these people need these people could supply and wait could you be more specific so oh people know? yeah so the eaters the second from bottom row people they would be like your rich people like mm -hmm. your rich people millionaires i have mm -hmm. a million or two million dollars um and then you go, that goes that would go t up to like the sharks from Shark Tank, I'd imagine. What are they? They're like multi million dollars. They got like a hundred million, maybe. For sure. And so, like, together, if they all were just like, "Hey, we got all this money. Let's you know save the world," they could all just save the world. They just could. They like Elon's talked about it before. The world could just switch to solar energy. And like, well, renewable green energy. I feel like I've heard that every time here. Like, the cost of it, even without their help, even. But let's go even farther. We can just do that. We have the money, the means, the know-how, the supplies, everything. We could just, we just could switch to green energy. We just don't, because it'll put people out of work. Uh, industries will go down. People like... Monopolies. Things will change. Yeah. The rich people will finally get screwed for once. Something bad will finally happen to them. But if we had bigger government or just more logical human interactions... And uh, Green Party lobbyists. It would just be like, oh, hey, big oil and big whatever. Um, 
we're just going to let you do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, there's not enough as much money, but that's what has to happen because it's bigger than you. And that's what people in our situation, in our life type thing, that's what we get pretty much told all the time. That's your problem, dude. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. It's my it's, problem. It's bigger than you. It's all just a freaking caste system in disguise, basically. 100%. 100%. And what is it? what is the reason though? Like, they can't need what they have first of all, and it's just they don't give a. F- People don't care. They don't care. That's what it is. The, the rich and the super rich could just fix everybody's problems, oh, and for they sure. wouldn't be sure. worse off. They would technically literally have less money no because it's being freaking a tax deductible if you send it towards a charity and once you've gotten to the point of being one of these huge rich ass people you literally if you give the public money everything they spend that money on comes back to you in certain percentages because you own so much shit and everything they buy is owned by you and other things that you own. Oh, you mean like you still make profits? Yeah. In a non-profit business. Yeah, in the sense yeah. that you own the world, and people have to pay for the things in the world, and you get that money. So even if you give them money, you're just gonna get it. Yeah. Like, you like, so like, we don't have an actual, this isn't re, uh, Repo the Genetic Opera, there isn't literally one company that owns literally everything in the world, but they have so much, they're losing so little, and they own so much that they'll get so much back from what you do buy with the money that they would give you that together, all of them, just just straight up freaking um, good guy Trump style, give you all that money. Just give us all all that money. Uh, well, not all of their money. That's not what Trump I'm style, he never did that. That's just, he, just, he, he was just like, people don't like me right now. I'm going to sign it. That's why I say good guy Trump. Every oh. time Trump's like, hey, I'm good. He's like, uh, more unemployment money. Uh, uh, here's $1,200. Yeah. Eat the rich. You just have to tell people, rich people, somehow, that... You don't have to lose any sort of profit when you become a philanthropist because you can still have other businesses easily. And then boom, boom, boom. The world's fixed. The world's solved. Still have your profits. We're not taking away your profits. Your numbers still can still go up. So you can self-fulfillment can still be happy. Just not as astronomically. And then your overall human happiness will also go up because you're going to be doing freaking charitable things. You're going to be making other people happy, and then you're going to realize, holy cow, this makes me so happy too. Like, just as happy as any other thing, if not more so. So. Yeah, but when you give people stuff for free, then they just spend it on bullshit. Yeah, how much do was I making a year knowing how to operate certain machinery and stuff. And I was, like, an expert at that. That was my job. I got paid $24,000 a year. I didn't even get paid by year. I got paid by weekly. Or, weekly. $24,000 a year. Doing that, which is, like, a respectable field and a respectable level, I'm expected to make $24,000 a year, and that's okay. But yeah, but... How can you succeed in life with that? Right, exactly. I'm supposed to go on vacation. That's a full job. And have a cabin out in the woods or, like, have a fun vacation. Like, not just take time off. Like, go somewhere. Right. You'll see stuff on Facebook, like, $600 a week. They're referencing the unemployment rate, rates where they were. $600 a week is what they think is what everyone makes a week. And that just lets you know. And then they make this much money and they think that that's too much for you. And it's like, yeah, that's exactly what it's like. It's supposed to have been like this whole time. 
you make just enough to not die so that you can do whatever you do, which makes them more money by being a consumer. I've thought about what it would be like to get $100,000. I was like, I don't know what would happen. I would lose my shirt. And people make that a year. How about it's just sitting in a bank, like we were saying? Yeah, it's just sitting in a bank. Or like, you have like a house that you don't go to because you have three. But what do we know? We can't save the world. Thank our viewers if they have gotten this far into the video because we love talking about capitalism and literally could talk about it for ages. I'm surprised like we haven't. No, I'm not surprised because we have <laughs> talked about this for like an hour and a half at this point. An entire movie has played in the background and I'll tell you it was They Live by John Carpenter. Um, freaking great movie. It's like from the 80s, maybe the 70s. Super duper good. If you haven't seen it, it's definitely suggested. So. I do not think that the world is ran by aliens or reptiles. Uh, oh, yeah. I do the think robots. it's. They're robots? Or I guess we should. No, it's skeleton. Say, what if it's a thousand years old. If you haven't seen Day of Live, get with the damn times. I'm giving okay. you the spoiler right here. You can cut out the pause it or mute it. There, there you got skeleton faces. It was the weirdest thing. It honestly, it could have been whatever. Then there's, they had skeleton faces. Mm -hmm. That's not a thing. That's not an alien. It's not a robot. What is no, that? What's skeleton? Okay. So good. Um. Yeah. So. It's been a really good time having you here because uh, it's so good to talk in front of the camera. I never talk this loud a day in my life. Uh, which is hilarious because all of you say I sound like ASMR and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm trying to talk so loudly and it's barely working. <laughs> you can't speak loudly. You have to drink a whole <laughs> pint of alcohol, apparently. Yeah, that was a good time. <laughs> um... <clears throat> Sorry, if moving in my chair has been loud and annoying. Um, it's been so nice, and I love you, and I have you hope the best. Have a great day. I'm not been butchering this. I almost said all of that backwards. <laughs> okay, well, have a great day. I hope you have the best rest of it. No, I guess I didn't say that backwards. It just doesn't go well together. Best rest of it. I hope you have, have a great day. Have a great rest of your day. <laughs> West. Okay. Um, if you've gotten this far, thank you. You are a super trooper and an amazing rock star. <laughs> and they live, am I right? Um, down with capitalism. Burn it all. Who knows who we're voting for? Because that's ridiculous. We all know who's going to win. And it's capitalism, for sure. The freaking devil. Um, and so, yeah. Do you want to say anything? I want to say like three more hours <laughs> with this <laughs> Okay, well, I love you!